Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to my last play of Torment Tides of Never Say It Right, Numeri Numera. How do you say it? Episode 56. I'm at a job here, which is this guy. He's kind of talking gobbledy to us, whatever. But we're going to move on. Is there anyone else we can chat to? Barkeeper? Is that now? Oh. Seen you before, haven't I? Oh, what did I say? See, my, most of my customers are half mad sailors, frustrated traders, and lost Taurus. Uh, was there a chat thing? So I couldn't read what he said, because it was down here. Uh, I don't know, he might go back to it. A man sees things working here, things he shouldn't. One time a customer bought a bottle and swallowed it whole. Cook it all. Wow. You look part I've seen two scaled men fight to the death over a pair of pants. Okay, why why didn't if that's the case, why you just hand them yours? Or give someone to get some. One of our bottles screams every time you open it. I always forget which one. That's weird. Sleep under the bar with the rats. Got a pillow and everything. You do? Can't turn to see. Maybe I should hire help. Yeah, you don't have enough room to sleep then. I should hire help. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so you go back round to the first one. Technology that suspends the tables prevents them from being easily flipped. Dragged or moved, given the location, this is probably a good idea. Oh, okay. I thought it's got like an old table. Well, oh, that looks attached to me. I guess that one isn't. Oh, I see. Ah, oh, I got you because it was so close. I thought it was attached, but it's not. It's, it's, actually, it's going higher. They're floating above this little machine in me thing. It's just the angle because it was so close a minute ago, it seemed it rolls. Okay. Neat. You guys want to talk? So I guess it's great, a little sooty. I keep lo losing clothes here though. Okay. Uh, don't look at me so loud. How do you look at someone loud? Is that evolving going up to someone going, I'm looking at you! I'm being loud! <laughs> Why? I don't get that. Explorer? You've got the look of explorer about you. Am I right? I want your opinion on something. What? What? I think my friend here and I should explore the bloom, the alleyways, the bars especially. In other words, you want to do a, a pub crawl. Also, here wants to explore the relevance. Wait, sounds hot, doesn't it, Sa Sandy? I'd rather discover a exciting new cocktail than a dozen pointy rocks, wouldn't you? Can I ask the answer? See, is it your turn to pay or mine? Stretches. Stretches. I guess you're trying to say it's his thing, you're just going to keep stretching now. What do you got to say? Good day, human. We are somewhat buzzy at the moment. I guess that's the somewhat because you're drinking. That's, I guess that's a somewhat. Krakus, my companion here, believes our next subjar should take us into the bloom. An expedition to a, a heavily settled city. Somewhere, somewhat defeats the purpose of exploring, but Grusk is adamant. My companion has d d doubtless found a love in the bloom and wishes to explore them. Krakus is exhausting, entertaining, but exhausting. Krakus is exhausting. Oh, same thing. Yo. Oh, proper conversation. Sylph. This pretty young woman stands unnaturally still. Suddenly, her large, glassy eyes spring to life with a rattle and quickly lock with yours. Before just as quickly stepping away, the skin as fair as porcelain is cracked beneath several layers of dirt and fading makeup. And on the side of her neck, you see what appears to be a small tattoo of vertical lines with glyphs edged out at the bottom. For a moment, familiarity overwhelms you, disappearing as a minute shudders runs down your arms. As a minute shudders, okay. Her gaze snaps back to your face, but not to your eyes. She's staring at your tattoo, jerkily her hand rises to touch her own. Tattoo, I hope. <laughs> well met, I am called Sif or Slef, I don't know what I'm saying, alright, whatever. You note the slight pause before she pronounces her name. Her voice has a purring quality under which you can hear the spinning of countless gears. She coughs just once and a small greenish cloud emerges from beneath her lips. How do you come by that mark? Try to remember where you've seen Slith tattoo before. Okay, yeah. Amnesia. You hear an echo of yourself and see in front of you a strange old man. Nah. Oh, what's the body's gnarly colours? <laughs> no, by the... I think the guy's still drunk from earlier. <laughs> no, by the time and rabid with ex expectation. 
uh, on his neck, weathered and sagging, you see the same series of vertical lines etched to his skin, a faded map to the time or a place that no longer exists. An intermissible period of time has elapsed without an answer. Conclusion, I will rephrase the question, she says <laughs> as the memory fades. How did you come to have those marks upon your skin? Use your way. I'm a castle of the changing god. I'm the changing god I created this body myself. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Proud of your work, are you? Zinfin's head snaps in his direction. Silver Tide rides a tiny melt. For a moment, all of her movement ceases. Because the thing is, I, I, uh, how should I put this? I don't truly believe he is a changing god. There is a chance he could be. I believe he's a cast off, and I think until point he's called a cast off. So I think he is supposed to be cast off. So he last cast off. So I, I don't think he is the changing god himself. But I tried to use that to bl to uh, bluff my way in with them nut jobs a while back, and that's why I get free bed. And I'm thinking if I turn around to her, yeah, I'm just a cast off, and then she happens to run to one of them nut jobs. You know, struggle would unravel. So that's why I'm keeping up with her. Moment, all of her moments, sees us. Even the peripheral whirl and got internal girls, the sudden sounds are unnerving. Oh, it lasts only a second before she comes back to life. Her hands move gently towards you, then away again. While inside her head mechanics click and whirl. Interesting, she says in a voice you don't recognise. She regards you, head tilting to the side with a series of small, erratic noises. You have the absurd impression the motion is meant to be flirtatious. I hope you will answer another question for me. The timbre of her voice changes, dropping an octave to a more elegant tone. Since you are a self emitted god, this old riddle should prove no challenge to you. Oh, cross. This is gonna mess me up, isn't it? She clears her throat and begins as if reciting her from memory. What comes in with breath and out with a word transmutes upon death but can't be conferred. The words sound vaguely familiar, reasoning in your mind even after she stops speaking. Try to remember where you've heard the riddle before. I guess that makes sense to do that first. It might cut some of these down. The words sound familiar, but something about them is subtly wrong. Just when you think you've grasped the difference, it slips from your mind, and you're left with only sister suspicion gaze. Ah, shut up. Okay, so let's look at this again. Uh, I would be better off with it sitting there so I can look at them better. Okay, since you're... Uh, can I go down so I can see, see them? No. I've lost it. Fudge, <laughs> where's it gone? Ah, here it is. So what comes in with breath? So it comes in with breath, so you're breathing. So the air, uh, oxygen, and what's... And out with a word. And, it, and it's out with a word. I guess you talk, oxygen comes out. Transmutes upon death. But can be confined. Conferred, sorry. So it changes upon death, but can be conferred. Okay, so life. What comes in with breath? Guess you bring oxygen. What is life? And out with a word. I don't get with a word. Does it mean you say a word? It comes out, or just as you speak, like yeah, my name is, and it comes out. So I guess it could be life. Transmutes upon death, but can't be conferred. Hmm. Well, on death. And it transmutes, it changes on death. Yep, your life changes to death, so I guess. But can't be conferred, I don't get that one. Glory. What comes in with breath, does glory come into you with breath, and it comes out with a word. Transmutes upon death, but can't be conferred. I don't think that's glory, is it? I don't get the word part of it. What else do we have? Conscious love, nothing, I don't know. Obviously, it ain't gonna be that. So what comes in on breath, Nothing comes in breath. Now you get oxygen. And it goes out on a word again. You're saying something, something's coming out. Love? Maybe? What comes in with breath? Love can come in with breath, I guess, you know. And out with a word. But you, And I guess you say, I love you. Love, word, comes out. Just mutes upon that, but can't be conferred. Does love change on death? I guess you're no longer alive, so it's nothing now. Hmm. Interesting. I kind of want to t uh, save. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Fudge. Mm. So what would this be then? The words sound familiar. Something about them is totally wrong. <sighs> Come on. 
comes in with breath conscious consciousness oh oh i read that right i read conscious consciousness isn't it comes in with breath you're conscious if you're breathing well technically we're not that and stupid breathing you're still breathing shallower aren't you um but it could be meaning consciousness as in our own conscience inside of us that people believe we have and the fact that when we die that it, like you know your soul your consciousness lives on and goes to another world maybe it's something like that but this type of game that would make sense so would that make fit this consciousness what comes in with breath well yeah you're breathing your consciousness is in you and out with a word how does it leave you with a that's the part that's really getting me how does it leave you with a word out with a word what by as you die maybe transmutes upon death you die and people say you go, you go to another world or so to heaven so it would transmute on death but it can't be confined no conferred and you can't check anyone's got one so other than out with the word i think it's consciousness it's just that word part i don't get okay do i go for it do i go for it oh i'm shutting my eyes Okay, I should make that should be because I'm moving my mouse to click the wrong one. Okay, I'm clicking it. So it stares at you for uncomfortably long time. Ah, oh, fuck, you got it wrong, haven't I? Oh. She raises shaking hands towards you and this time doesn't pull back. Her cracked porcelain fingers constructing around your upper arms. She's going to kill me because I basically pretended to be a god and I'm not. It is you, she says fervently in the deeper voice. Have you returned to see what better minds? Then yours have what? Did I get right? <laughs> she laughs at the look on your face. It's not a pleasant sound. And to think all those years ago you had the audacity to call yourself a god. Look at me. Look at this. She spreads her arms and turns in a circle, clearly intending you to see every angle of the body. I wish they would actually do that. That's the only thing I don't like with this game. It's like you do all these actions and they just stand there. They should animate the actions. This is the pinnacle of lost civilization, she gloats. The void behind her eyes replaced with fervent, furious madness. My perfect immortal vessel, and I'm the one who discovered it. Me. Okay. Hey, XP, we must have done it. She spits bright green foam that lands in the dust at your feet. That to you, that to your help. My methods are beyond your comprehension, and I'm going to make sure they stay that way. What? Who are you? <laughs> apparently it seem like if if I am the true god, or at least she thinks I am, him, her and the true god apparently had a falling out, I guess? The light fades from her eyes as suddenly as it arrives. She blinks at you with a chittering of the cane cocks, folding her hands in front of her and executing a small bow. I do not know what transpires, she says. Please accept my apologies. Need to try to remember where you've seen stuff before. Law machinery. Law natural. Examines it more closely to determine her origin. Uh, hopefully, we can try them both if one fails. Seven, eight, come on. Yes! I remember. Stat pool spent on effort restored. An image appears in your mind, as if standing doomly beside a richly clothed man who gestures at you impatiently. Sure, she's old, but she can still work. Still got the machine's intelligence of hers running along nicely. Unlike some others, he said, if you're lonely, she'll keep you company. That's probably what I figure's about. If you're not, she'll keep quiet, won't you? He turns his person gaze to say, who nods? Tell you what, I'll make you a deal, the man says, leaning forward, because spiritually. I got a male model out back, who's a bit more banged up. I'll do you both for, say, a thousand shins. Did I take the male model if I was a god? Or is he referring they both can give him company? <laughs> he winks at you. Okay, it's a company thing. I don't really want the male one if that's the case. A gentleman's got to have his options. Uh, now I have to stick with her. I understand. Surely I do. He leans back, pleased with himself. As the memory starts to fade. So do we have a deal? The memory fades. Who are you? I'm Sif, she states simply, inclining her head towards you with a audible click. I am at your service. Who are you again? You may I assist you. Who are you again? Okay, apparently that's it. That was rather weird. Can we retalk? Is that all you're going to say? 
I thought there'd be more to that, like maybe she would join us or something, but doing BX learning, I guess. Alright. Okay. Oh actually, before we talk to any of these children got the cutlass. Cut the cut why can't you call them cutlasses? I keep it in the source cutlasses. Um cutlasses. 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 Eh, whatever. Like, subscribe, and good stuff. And tune next week. And it's been Abbott W. So, bye for now, everyone. Have a great day.